So welcome to Next Picks uh, with our special guest Sarah Harnish from the Morning Show and the News Department. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're obviously shooting a video, which is why you're seeing us today. But Sarah posed uh, a challenge for me uh, when we were picking out some things to do some uh, natural kind of foods. So today we're doing beef short ribs. Uh, we made a homemade barbecue sauce, which is corn syrup free. It's all natural. Uh, and we tried to mimic it the best we can to a commercial barbecue sauce to get the taste and the texture and the flavor. So we have our spices here. We gotta take some salt. This is all natural sea salt. You get salt. to mix them all together? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Garlic, a little bit of pepper, not all that pepper. There you go. You can put all that onion powder in there though. The paprika, don't put the oil in. That's for the pan. Yep. So you got that. We're just gonna mix it all together. And we're gonna season very well the beef on all sides, top and bottom. So you rub it all in the way there. around, yep. You get that flavor right in there. So they're nice and seasoned up. We're gonna transfer them over to the saute pan and brown them up. And we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So we get we have a saute pan that's heated up. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to it just to coat the bottom of the pan. And you're gonna know your, your pan's hot enough. Um, but just by the way it's running through the pan, you don't want it smoking obviously because then you'll burn. And then you're gonna add your ribs and you wanna do it meat side down. There's a bone that here's run on the bottom and the meat's on the other side. So you wanna brown it on all sides, a nice golden brown on each side. This is gonna sear in all the juices and all the flavor uh, for you know the rest of the cooking. So you can flip them right over and see that oh, nice wow. golden brown. And you wanna flip it over and do a whole other side. So this is the rib that Eva's created from, and we're cooking it. It's disgusting. So we got a nice and golden brown on all sides. We're gonna transfer over to a nice pan. Turn our heat off so we don't have a small grease fire. And we're basically gonna add in some water to the bottom of the pan. And if you wanna grab that tin foil, we're gonna wrap it up. So I'll take this, put it in the oven, about 350 degrees for about two hours, and we're gonna let it cook through, and it's gonna start to fall away from the bone a little bit, um, but it should still be very tender and juicy. We actually have one here that was made up. He just pulled a Martha Stewart. But I didn't go to jail. And he carried the, the pot with tongs. <laughs> See, there are certain things that a nine foot man can do that a four foot person has a really hard time with. That's all like he could take this pan and hold it with one hand. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> Hence the hot grease and the grease fire. Well, here we have a fully cooked rib that we have set aside already. Uh, you can see that they're nice and juicy. They're just starting to fall away from the bone a little bit. Um, and if you didn't want to do this right now, you can kind of refrigerate these for um, you know overnight even, and then take them out tomorrow. But since we're doing everything here one day, this is right out of the oven. It's about two hours to 350 degrees. So we're gonna take these and throw them out in the grill just the way Sarah threw hot grease on my kitchen floor. Hey. What? Well, first we gotta show off the um, the technology. Technology is, is burning fuel um, with, uh, with cast iron bars to go across that get really hot. Yeah, it sounds like a jet engine when you turn this thing on. Yes. That... Feed my family in like three minutes with this thing. Yeah. So we, we use these for our events here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take these. Sarah, would you like to do the honors? I know you love to grill. That's cool. Does it matter? Does it matter? This is what I do with my birthday cake with my kids. You grill your birthday <laughs> no, no. cake with your kids? No, I go to get it off the plate and I go put it on and it goes like this. Okay. Okay. So we're just basting the barbecue sauce on. Of course, watch out for the uh, the fire and... Do not do that. <laughs> This is the last time Sarah will be uh, hosting this. <laughs> so easy, a news anchor can do it. Hey! Oh, sorry. I have a history of setting things on fire. So you'll, you'll find the recipe for the barbecue sauce uh, online as well. Uh, but it's basically uh, brown sugar, molasses, honey, tomato paste, um, and seasoning. And we tried to mimic it as much as we could to like a Sweet Baby Ray's or a Kraft Barbecue uh, as per Sarah's request. So these are fully cooked off. Nice and sauced up and juicy. Those official cook terms. These are official cook cooked terms. Off. Yep, cooked off. Juicy. Cooked in, cooked out. Blown up. That that's your term. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So where's the rest of the meal? 
uh, that, that's all you get today. Mm. I get ribs today yeah. and tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Nick picks you. Oh, it's next week. <laughs> yeah. Nick picks Tomorrow's you. Friday. <laughs> um. Oh wow. Here you just. <laughs> I told you I throw cake. <laughs> mm. Very good. Very good. So this, this is Nick's Picks You Can Fix with Sarah Harnish from The Morning Show and the news team. Nick Finlayson. And uh, barbecue uh, beef spare ribs uh, with homemade barbecue sauce here on the grill. So. Yeah, and it's not hard. Even a news anchor can do it. You cover it with uh, spices, you saute it, you bake it, you grill it. Excuse me. Really Excuse me. Hi. Uh, <laughs> and Sonny eats it. I don't know about that. Sonny! Really good. Totally want them. I don't like ribs. What?